Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be creating very simple clouds that work in both EV and cycles. Enjoy! So in Blender you want to delete the cube and then add another new cube back in. And let's open a shading tab. And the first thing you'd want to do is create a new material and delete the principled BSDF. Then let's add a principled volume as this is how the clouds work. And make sure to connect the volume to the volume and not the surface. To see something, you need to go in render view, so let's do that. But we don't have any lighting, so I'll just add an HDR really quick. So go to the world, add an environment texture, connect the color to the color, and then open. I got this HDR from hdrihaven.com. It's a great website, I really recommend it. I'll now put the link in the description. So now we can see our volume. Let's go back to object shading and add our first node. So this is a noise texture. And with Node Wrangler installed, you can tap Control T which adds a texture coordinate and mapping node, and just make sure to connect the object to the vector. And what you'll see now is if you just control shift, click on the noise texture, again, you need node wrangler installed, we'll have noise. What we can do then is add a separate HSV and connect the color of the noise to the color of the separate HSV. And what you'll notice is that you get different patterns depending on what output you use. So like, for example, the H is like ink or paint, and then the S could be used for scratches or dents and but we're going to use the v and then you just add a color ramp and just add a lot of contrast so something like this and what we can do next is add a math node and just multiply this because as you can see if we connect this to the density and if we set it to one it's not very dense so let's just multiply it by something like two and what we're going to see is that we have very noisy volume so I'm going to decrease the size to one. So we have much bigger scale and increase this detail to something like eight. I wouldn't go too high because it just slows it down a lot. And at a certain point, you don't really see the difference anymore. What also helps a lot is increasing this roughness to like 0.65. And that's already much more cloud like. I'm just going to drag both of these values a bit to the right. And as you can see, that's already looking like a cloud. What we can do next to get some distortion is add something in between these two nodes. So I'm gonna add a noise texture and just connect the object to the vector and then use a mix RGB here and make sure the object is connected to the color and then the color of the noise is connected to the color of the mix. And what we can do now is change it from zero distortion and slowly increase it until we have a lot of distortion. I'm just going to increase the density really quick so we can see it better. And what you can see is as I increase this, it just gets more and more distorted. I'm going to keep it at around 0.2. And what you can do is if this is too slow for you is actually disconnect this principled volume and just look at the output of the color ramp. And then you can easily adjust the values and look at how the shape is doing. So I'm just going to play with the scale of this until I'm happy with the result. And then we can look at our output again. That's looking very nice. Another thing we can do is scale this by two on the Z to squish it a bit. And I'm actually going to move these markers even more to the right to get less cloud. And that's already looking great. I'm going to add a camera so we know how to light this. And if you want to, you can actually just change this location to move the volume. Another thing is if you want this to work in EV, you just change it to EV. And then under the volumetrics, you just want to make sure to set your tile size to two and then enable volumetric shadows and increase your volumetric samples and shadow samples. What you can do then is change these values, the start and end for the volume and until you see the volume disappearing as you want to make this as small as possible so you get as much detail in. So something like that. And then you do the same for the start. So something like one. Just go a bit more than you think in case you move the camera a bit. And 
One thing you'll notice is with Eevee right now, it's going to look very flat because the HDRs don't make it cast shadows on itself. But if we add a sunlight, they're going to look like clouds. And there we go. But for this tutorial, I will actually use cycles as we're going to be using the sky texture. So I'm just going to delete this and go back to cycles. And what we can do is go back to the world shader. And if you can't find your nodes, just tap A and then period on your numpad to center everything again. And I'm actually going to remove this um, HDR and add a sky texture and connect the color to the color. And what you'll notice is it's really, really bright. So I'm just going to decrease the brightness a bit so we can see what's going on. And this is a really, really powerful node. It was introduced recently. So make sure you don't have a really old version of Blender. And I'm just going to play with these settings until I have something I like. Here you have to choose if you want to go for like an orange sunrise or sunset or just like a really, really blue sky. I think I'm going to do a sunrise, so I'm just going to increase the air a bit and the ozone. And that's basically it. If you want to, you can of course go back to the object shading and change things like the density or of course the position of your color ramp as well as the noise textures and your mix node. And this is a really, really simple way of creating clouds. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to, I will have this file for free on Gumroad and the links of course in the description. See ya!